Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Any Motion. Today I'm going to show you how to do that bouncy slash rising falling slash wavy text. And this effect is quite popular in motion graphics, so hopefully you'll be able to do it too at the end of this video. The first thing you want to do is to untool your text layer. Go to Anime and select Position. Now you want to change this name to be Position 1. And you want to change the Y position and you want to make it um, some negative number. So I'm going to type in minus 150. You can do whatever you want. And then if you untool the range selector, um, put your playhead at the very uh, first frame of your composition. Activate the keyframe and make the first keyframe to be minus 100%. Go to one second and make that 100%. Now if you preview it, it's already animating in, but obviously it's really stiff and we want to smoothen that out. So in order to do that, go to the advanced, which is under the range selector, and um, change the shape into ramp down and make the is high to 100. Now if you preview it again, it is much smoother, but we want to add more flavor into it because like we can do a lot more to this animation. And what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to click on my position effect and duplicate that by holding Ctrl D on your keyboard. And if you untool your position too, um, we want to change the Y position to a positive number. So I'm going to type in um, 60. And if you go to the advanced, we want to change the is high to 50 and is low to 50. And we want to leave the shape to ramp down. So preview it again. You can see like there's like a little bit of bounce, especially at the end. And I'm gonna add another position effect and I'm just gonna duplicate position two. Untroll that and this time we wanna make the Y position to be negative number again. I'm gonna type in minus 15. And let's preview it again. Looks much better but I'm going to offset all of the keyframes, so I'm just going to select the text layer, hit you on your keyboard to show all of the keyframes. Just going to offset that. You can always play around with the numbers. Um, you don't really have to do what I did, but uh, that's just the technique. So preview it again. It is now floating and it has that wavy, bouncy effect, which I really like. And, you know, you can always um, add an opacity effect as well. So if you close and open that um, text layer again, go to animate and go to opacity. Now you've created an opacity uh, effect. Whoops. And change that to opacity. And make sure your opacity is way 0%. And if you enter a range selector, Make the first start keyframe to be zero, and then go to one second and make that 100%. Now if you preview it again, it's animating in, and it looks much better. But as you can see that the text is not exactly in the center of the frame, so all you have to do is just kind of like drag it down to whatever you feel like it's the best. So I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. And feel free to leave any suggestion on what I should do for the next video in the comment section. Thanks so much guys.